And here's Ruby working on some recalls. So what you do see how Ruby's a little distracted, I'm gonna say Ruby here, and we kind of flick the collar. This is how you teach a recall. It's lots of repetitions at first, but uh, this is how you teach it with the wrong and a leash. So we'll wait till we get a little distracted. And Ruby here. Yes, good job, buddy, good job. Yes, good job, buddy. Then you know, use your body language back up, talk also to uh, um, you know, help them come to you, making it fun coming to you. Because you know you want to be more important than the squirrel across the street, um, you know, the kid across the street, all that kind of stuff. So Ruby here. Yes, good job, buddy, good job. Yes. And you could, if you wanted to, you could use a, you know, uh, some of their kibble every once in a while. I'm not the biggest for that for recall, but uh, by all means, it you know, doesn't hurt to try it for a little while. So Ruby here. Yes, good job, buddy, good job. Yes. Just make it awesome coming to you. So that's the beginning stage is how to teach recall and it's uh, lots and lots and lots of repetitions. You can't expect to do this 10 times and you dog to uh, uh, know what it means. Lots of repetition for the consistency. So what I have to tell my clients is like, like if you're outside walking your dog or whatever and you do this uh, you know, 10 times a day, that's 70 a week, it's a lot of recalls. So Ruby here. Yes, good job buddy, good job. Yes.